Wow, my dude, it's 55 here. I understand you're driving a big old truck, but the gas pedal is on the right. That's all I gotta say. What's going on, everybody? Meathead Moto back with you for another video to pump up your day with some motorcycle content as I get out of this traffic. I'm here to talk about a very interesting subject. Because I am going to be putting some responsibility on us as riders here. Because the more I think about it, and especially if I watch videos of bikers versus cars, uh, angry motorcyclists versus uh, drivers and stuff, if you watch those compilation videos of road rage against against motorcyclists, against car drivers, like, we also have to take some responsibility as riders. Just saying, guys. So many times do we like to go from zero to a hundred because motorcycles are definitely dangerous because we could die on these things. We don't have the same safety devices that cars do. We don't have blind spot monitoring. We don't have airbags. We don't have seat belts. We don't have crumple zones. And we have a lot of responsibility there already. So what I'm trying to say is that part of the blame is on us at times. We do things very unexpectedly at times. And we can do things very fast. Talking about like, I'm going to change lanes quick. So I'm going to go to the far right side of my lane and go around somebody. I can snap over to the right and then back to the left pretty quickly and you know sometimes we might cut it a little close to the car in front of us we're not the same size as a car so we might play it by you know I'm a little bit smaller so I can get in a little bit quicker well, the thing is, is that cars and a lot of people driving cars have a personal bubble around their car as well of where they're comfortable with you being. And, you know, it's maybe just like on this motorcycle, the where I feel comfortable is probably in my personal bubble is probably the size of a car. But if I'm in my truck, my truck, my cr uh, personal bubble is also as large as the truck, if not larger than that truck. So when we, or I should say some motorcyclists, like are going a hundred miles an hour or more and you speed by somebody, like within a few inches of them or maybe even a foot of them and you speed by them like they were standing still you gotta understand that you kind of violated their bubble and you're also doing something rather dangerous and illegal to yourself and there's a responsibility there that if that driver gets mad at you you kind of did it on yourself. And it's the same thing with like changing lanes and getting a little bit too close when you cut back into the lane. You may have not been anywhere close to cutting them off, the driver, but they kind of feel you did because you're a lot closer than where a car would be if they were to 
cut back into a lane after a lane change. It's like simple give and take things that we as motorcyclists can do to help ease the relationship between us and car drivers. Man, that's two animals in a short amount of time. Another key thing that I think that we also have to be willing to compromise on is that we don't own the road. We, in a lot of terms, as far as like riding school and driving school, we as motorcyclists do have the right of way in a lot of situations. However, put your ego aside and if you are in a, where you're, you're going to get into a situation where you are facing the car for a spot in a lane position or you're turning and another car decides it's going to go at the same time you as a motorcyclist need to realize that you are not going to win that fight and it's best to just give up that lane position to make sure you go home safe and those that fight for those lane positions and end up breaking mirrors or punching people's car windows out and stuff like you make us all look bad along the same lines as defending a lane position we tend to use our motorcycles exhaust as a rev as a horn now granted my exhaust is louder than my horn but to honk at someone comes off with a different connotation it's like this is like a the horn is like a hey I'm here you fucked up but it's all right but when we rev our horn or rev our horn when we rev our bikes it comes off as extremely pissed off over little things like you are literally swearing at somebody in their face telling them that they are a disgusting piece of yada 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 and we do that in situations where it's just not necessary think of the times where somebody has cut you off or somebody has decided to change lanes unexpectedly you reacted and got yourself out of there they took over the lane or they went into the lane and it's no issue okay you had to apply your brakes you maybe had a little bit of a butt pucker but like a little beep on the horn is just like hey you did something wrong do better whereas the whole or the horn again whereas the exhaust rev is a middle finger fuck you like you're an asshole kind of thing and people already hate it that we have loud exhausts already so why just add more fuel to that fire you know i may be standing up on my soapbox all by myself here but i think that it is a give and take now granted what car drivers could do to keep us safe pretty simple pay attention <laughs> in this case I think instead of focusing on focusing on the destination like in the hat in the case of like I want to be in that lane I'm going to go for it you need to be like okay I want to be in that lane what I need to do X, Y, and Z. More like the journey rather than the destination. That's what I would put out to you car drivers, especially in the bigger cities. Be more mindful of those around you. Not only those in motorcycles, but other cars as well. Stay off your phone. Texts can wait. Calls can wait. Emails can wait. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff can wait. Being on a motorcycle has taught me that. Like, I cannot afford to 
look at anything from anybody while I'm on a motorcycle. I, I, an Instagram post. A t Snapchat, a text message, none of it. And with that you realize how little of importance they actually are and how important it is to just get home safe. And in the end that's all that's all what we want. That's what everybody wants is to be able to go from our job, from dinner, from home, you know, home to work, work to home. That's all we want to be able to do is get home safe every single day without an accident or without worrying we will die in an accident. So car drivers, motorcycle riders, why don't we all make an oath that as we get older, as we get more wiser, we will start making better choices and taking responsibility for our own actions and understanding the consequences of them. Let's put down our phones when we drive. Let's head check every time we're going to make a turn. Every time we're going to change lanes, every time we're going to make a left or right hand turn, we make an extra check, double check, trickle, triple check. Let's just be better. Everybody just wants to go home. Everybody wants to be able to cuddle their, their significant other, to cuddle their dog, cuddle their cat, kiss their mom and dad. You know? Let's just all just try and be better people. Especially on the roadways. We share these. So, that's all my thoughts, guys. You know, responsibility needs to be t taken on both sides of things. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all signed on for this pledge to be better riders, better drivers. Until next time guys, I'll see you in another video. I'll leave you on this corner and then I'm out. See you guys.